Thanks for joining me today. This is It Is Written. I'm John Bradshaw. When you open up the Bible, particularly the early chapters of the Bible, you discover that way back then, some individuals lived a very long time. Methuselah, we know, lived to be 969. Yet in today's society, when somebody gets to 80, 85, 90, we get excited and think they've lived a long time. A hundred more common today than it was a generation ago is an outstanding achievement. But compare that to the Bible and it's not really so long at all. Today we're going to talk about anti-aging secrets, how you can live longer, healthier, happier, and holier from a biblical perspective. My guest today is Dr. John Westerdahl. He is a nutritionist from the Bragg Health Institute in Santa Barbara, California. Dr. Westerdahl, thanks for joining me. Welcome to It Is Written. Thank you, John. It's good to be here with you today. And I'm fascinated to know that you yeah. are a board-certified anti-aging health practitioner. Yes. What's that? There's an organization called the American Academy of Anti-Aging Medicine, and there's thousands of doctors who are members of this organization, and their specialty is into learning how we can promote anti-aging, live longer and healthier lives. And uh, so what they have is they have certifications for both medical doctors, board certifications, as well as healthcare practitioners. I'm a nutritionist, so I've taken the exams and become board certified in that area as well, because that's a big interest of mine. Anti-aging, you can't stop a person getting old. The only way to not get old is to die. Yeah. The longer you live, the further back in time that's your right. birth date gets. But I'm expecting that this idea of anti-aging is is warding off the ravages of father time. Is that right? Yes, it is. And uh, it's not that we're against aging. Oh, no. We're going to age. We're going to get a year older every year. But there's things that we can do to slow the aging process down and in some cases even reverse some of that process by a healthy lifestyle and some of the new technologies in the anti-aging field. I've heard of this thing. You look at your birth certificate, it says you're 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. But yes. then you can do these little tests and it will tell you your, your health age and you might be older than your birth certificate says or doing better, your body's younger than that piece of paper might yes. suggest. That's the difference between chronological age versus biological age. Chronologically, we get a year, every year we get older. But if you are living a healthy lifestyle, you're taking good care of your health, you don't have the health problems and so forth that a lot of average Americans do, you uh, can be potentially younger in your chronological age just by the way you live. Now, if you look at the average age for an individual in a Western society, it's not that bad. And the average lifespan, that is, is, is a whole lot longer than it was, say, a generation or a yes. hundred years ago. Now, much of that is due to improvements in health care. Uh, infant mortality rates are down. Yeah. So those figures don't really give a very accurate picture of how much better we're doing today than we were some years ago. Perhaps the numbers st overstate the fact. So yes. where are we today with healthcare? How well are we doing as a society? We're doing very poorly, and I think a lot of people see that today. Uh, the problem is, uh, from healthcare standpoint, is there's so much emphasis put on cheaper health insurance or cheaper drugs, uh, less expensive uh, treatments that we can have and so forth. Some of those uh, technologies are miraculous. It's amazing what we are doing today in the science of medicine. However, we're not getting to the root cause of the healthcare crisis problem. That has to do with the way we are living, our lifestyle, because for 90% of the cases, it's our lifestyle that's causing the health problems that we have today. A few changes in the way we're living our lives would affect our outcomes dramatically. Yes, and that's why in addition to the field of anti-aging medicine, this whole area of lifestyle medicine is also emerging for doctors who see, they're beginning to see the light that we can't spend all this money in the healthcare that we are today and all these exotic treatments and medicines and technologies that we need to do things that can be less expensive, and that's like simple things, eating healthier, getting regular exercise, learning to control your stress, lifestyle things. So tell me, then I go to the doctor, I'm a diabetic, I have um, some kind of uh, cardiac issue, I might have rheumatoid yeah. arthritis. One thing I could do is say, write me some prescriptions, yes. doctor, and the doctors in many or most cases will do just that. But a lifestyle medicine physician might do what? A lifestyle medicine doctor would sit down with you and take a look at your diet and say, well, what, what kind of foods do you eat? They, of course, they would do some tests, blood tests, and the, do the weight and height and weight and all those tests to get an assessment. 
but they will look at your diet, they'll look at your exercise and activity habits, all the things that are related to your lifestyle, really, and, and see where those may be the causes of the health condition you may have. And, and as I said, in the majority of health problems today are diet and re uh, lifestyle related. In fact, 70% of the patients that we have in our hospitals today are there as a result of diet and lifestyle related causes. The old saying is, you are what you eat. So what are some yes. good foods that can uh, help uh, perhaps uh, ward off sickness or reverse diseases or, or, or are anti-aging? Well, if there's one message I want to get clear to you and to our listeners today is that foods from plants prevent the diseases that are killing us. Foods from plants promote health, longevity, and beauty. So what are some foods? List some quickly and say, well, these ones are really good for you. The uh, research is showing now eating more fruits and vegetables, particularly colorful fruits and vegetables, can significantly reduce your risk of having stroke and, and um, heart disease and cancer. There are wonderful compounds that we find in these fruits and vegetables that God has put into nature for us to eat besides just the nutrients, the vitamins and minerals, but the, we call them phytochemicals, which are, include antioxidants. Uh, these are compounds that actually prevent or slow the process of aging. They prevent our cells from rusting, you can say. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, they actually uh, block some of the carcinogens doing their damage to these cells as well. I'm excited about that. Yes. What are the good antioxidant foods? Colorful fruits and vegetables are, are the best ones. Carrots. Carrots. Those have bright yellow colors. That's beta carotene, the carotenoids. Mm -hmm. Your green has carotenoids, including lutein. Uh, your purple colors have these uh, proanthocyanins, they call them. I've heard that blueberries are good antioxidant. Blueberries are an excellent antioxidant. And that's why I recommend eating a rainbow of colors, because you're going to get a variety of these wonderful compounds that you find in foods when you do that. Today, anti-aging foods from the Bible. Before we're done, we'll even share with you a recipe and we'll show you some food and maybe even sample some food that has definite anti-aging qualities and properties. Anti-aging, living longer, living healthier, living holier in preparation for the return of Jesus. We'll be back with more in just a moment. When God created humanity, He intended for us to enjoy perfect health and live forever. But sin entered the world and we began to age. Today's free offer, Anti-Aging Secrets of the Bible, will show you how you can live healthier and longer in this world and be ready for the eternal life ahead. To get today's free offer, call 800-253-3000 or visit us online at iiwoffer.com. Planning for your financial future is a vital aspect of Christian stewardship. For this reason, It Is Written is pleased to offer free planned giving and estate services. For information on how we can help you, please call 800-992-2219. Call today or visit our website, hislegacy.com. Call 800-992-2219. This is It Is Written. I'm John Bradshaw. Thank you for joining me today. Being joined today by Dr. John Westerdahl, a nutritionist and a board-certified anti-aging health practitioner. Today, how you can live longer, how you can even turn back the clock. That's true, isn't it? Turning yes, back it the is. clock? Yes, it is. Uh, through things that you can do in your own lifestyle and the foods you eat, your exercise, your lifestyle habits, you can actually slow the aging process. And in some cases, you can actually reverse it. Is anti-aging only for older people? Are you supposed to start this when you're 70, 80, 85 years old? It's interesting you talk about that because um, my daughter, when she was six years old, I'd tell people she's on an anti-aging diet. Well, I bet they said, well, looking at her, it seems to be working. <laughs> well, I have to tell you that this is an important thing because it's really sad to see what's happening with our youth today. Actually, yeah. we need to get people on anti-aging lifestyles when they're young. That's when we should start. Uh, you know, today we have seven-year-old children with adult onset diabetes. We have young kids who have adult uh, diseases. Uh, I was talking to a nurse the other day. Her 13-year-old son uh, said she didn't know what to do because her son's, the doctor said his arteries are all clogged up. How old? 
only 13 years of age. And I was in the room when the Surgeon General said that based on the way things are going today with obesity and the health problems that we're facing with our children today, that it is in this generation that parents will outlive their own children. Yeah, that's a shocking. I've heard in the last few years some talk about blue zones. These are places around the world, various communities or locations, where people seem to live much longer than populations outside these zones. Can you tell me about those? Yes, that's actually a term that was uh, developed by Dan Butner, who is with National Geographic magazine, where a few years ago they had a special on the secrets of living longer. And they identified these blue zones. These blue zones are areas in the world where people or populations have exceptional health and longevity. In that issue of National Geographic, they identified three different cultures. One is in Okinawa, Japan, where there's a high level of centenarians in that area who follow the traditional Okinawa lifestyle and diet and so forth. The second uh, area was in Sardinia, Italy, and the third, the Blue Zone of America, was in Loma Linda, California, which is the high population of Seventh-day Adventists. And yet they're living long lives in spite of the fact that they're not living in a, in a bucolic little paradise. So let's talk That's about right. these places. Okay. Sardinia, Okinawa, Loma Linda, what are the factors that contribute to this longevity? Well, when they look at those different populations, they find some similar uh, patterns. First of all, a lot of them eat a lot of fruits and vegetables. They eat a predominantly a plant-based diet. So they're getting a lot of those antioxidants and health properties we talked about earlier. Uh, they have a uh, culture where there's a lot of socialization with each other. They have uh, their friends uh, in the Seventh-day Adventist population. They worship together. The community has a similar philosophy of, of life. In um, Okinawa, it's the same way. These populations are also uh, tend to be more active than other parts, their counterparts in their in their areas where they live, and uh, so there's a number of factors that contribute to their health and longevity. Hmm. Now you mentioned the the Hunza people. Yes. It is written when George Vanderman was the director and the speaker of it is written some years ago. It is written traveled to that part of the world and met with the Hunza people and explored some of the, the, the health secrets of these people that live long. What can you tell us about the, the Hunzas? Well, the Hunzas are up in the Himalayan mountains, very high. Uh, used to be northern Pakistan. Now it is part of Pakistan. And uh, they have a very unique lifestyle in that they live a totally natural way of living. They eat all organic food. They eat predominantly plant-based diet. Uh, actually, only 13 days of the year do they eat some meat. The rest of the time, they follow a vegetarian diet. Um, they're amongst the longest living people in the world. Uh, reports of ages up to 120 to 130 years of age uh, that have been reported in uh, Journal of the American Medical Association. And I know when... Uh, uh, Pastor Vandeman went over there. He had a picture of an individual that was 120 years old and was really in good health. They have a, uh, a lifestyle that is similar to these other blue zones in that it contributes to uh, a population that has a lot of centenarians in their population. Now, how do we define aging? What are some of the different theories about aging? Well, there's a lot of ways of defining it. People think of wrinkles, you're losing your hair, uh, the, the typical things we think of, of aging. I guess I'm aging. And, and we all are aging to some degree, right? Mm-hmm. Anti-aging, building healthy cells, and something that you can eat and enjoy. Don't go away. We'll be right back. Every Word is a one-minute Bible-based daily devotional presented by Pastor John Bradshaw and designed especially for busy people like you. Look for Every Word on selected networks or watch it online every day on our website, itiswritten.com. I remember as a kid, my father telling one of my brothers how glad dad was that this brother had got a job in a certain place because as dad saw it, if my brother applied himself, he'd get noticed and he'd be able to rise up through the ranks. Now, the Bible presents a similar thought, although it has an important difference involved. In Genesis chapter 41, verses 39 and 40, Pharaoh gave Joseph great authority in Egypt because as Pharaoh said, there is no one as discerning and wise as you. And where did that wisdom and discernment come from? From Joseph's connection with and commitment to God. 
Faith in God elevates a person. When you become what you can become through the grace of God, doors open and opportunities present themselves. God has great plans for a person's life. The key to success lies in committing your life to God. Let's live today by every word. Thanks for joining me today on It Is Written. Today, anti-aging secrets from the Word of God. And when we stop to think about this, we realize that back near the beginning, it was through eating that which she shouldn't have eaten that Eve lost her life and plunged, along with Adam, the world into sin and shortness of life. We're told in the Bible that we should eat for strength. Dr. John Westerdahl what do we have here? I said a moment ago that we were going to share something that would be an, yes. an anti-aging secret. So, please so explain. we're going to make an anti-aging smoothie for you today that's going to add years to your life and life to your years. All right. And it's going to be based on building healthy cells so that you have a good cell wall and keep that moisture within the cell so that keeps us younger. If I need more intracellular water, yeah. shouldn't I just drink more water? You know, that's kind of a, a fallacy because if you're drinking all this water all day long, what's going to be happening? I'm going to be going to the bathroom all you're day going long. To be going to, so you're losing that water. You want to have water that's going to keep within the cells and retain in there to keep them healthy. So really, the best thing to get your water is to eat your water. And that's another reason for eating a plant-based diet. Eating the raw fruits, particularly raw fruits and vegetables, have a water within their cells that's going to be much easier to get within your cell. Now, convince me that this isn't cranky. I mean, I can imagine my friend in Tupelo, Mississippi, or in Cedro, Woolley, uh -huh. Washington, or in Billings, Montana, going, uh, guy wants to eat his water, and he wants to turn me into a rabbit. Help me understand that this is good, solid, healthy, level, mainstream stuff. Yeah, this is, this is good science based on what we call the science of cellular water, and is one of the concepts of aging that we lose our water as we get older. There's no question. Our body water and the body cells, the water within our cells are lost as we get older. So we're trying to build healthy cells to keep that water within. All right, I'm a believer. I'm not a skeptic. All right, what have we got here and what are we going to put into this okay. machine? So in order to build healthy cells, and uh, we're going to start with putting some antioxidants in, this is pomegranate juice. Pomegranate right. juice is loaded with antioxidants pomegranate that... Pomegranate uh, juice help protect cells from damage. All right. That's good in red. You mentioned before the red, red, the reds and purples are good stuff. That's right. Okay. And then we're going to put a vegetable protein in here. This is soy, soy milk. All right. So that's going to provide you with good quality vegetable protein. All right. You get soy milk at the supermarket, right? Yes. And that's uh, also part of the cell wall is pr good protein. Okay. And then blueberries. All right. Probably my favorite fruit. Blueberries are loaded with those antioxidants that protect cells from um, being damaged. I love blueberries. So are the best that, things you can all get. All those blueberries in there. I enjoy growing blueberries. And then we're going to add something that a lot of people may not know about. This is what's called soy lecithin. Now, people don't realize that every cell wall in your body is made of lecithin. So by contributing, it's kind of supplementing to this drink some lecithin that will go into your body so you can absorb it to build those healthy right. healthy uh, cells as well. Where do I get this from? And I bought it at the and supermarket. You, you can buy that at the health food store. It's usually in a canister or in the bulk bin. And it right. uh, comes from soybean oil, actually made from soybean oil. It's a type of fat, a healthy fat. That's good for you. That's good for you. All right. And then we're going to add ground flaxseed. And flaxseeds today are known as like the new fish oil. Those are a plant-based omega-3 fatty acid. Now, now why are omega-3s good? They do Omega-3 fatty acids are essential fatty acids that we need in our diet every day for good health. And it's a type of fat that helps build that cell wall. Has cancer-fighting properties, too, right? Has cancer-fighting properties, and there's heart health properties as well. By the way, if, you can, if you can eat food that's going to fight cancer, you might as well. That's right. That's just good common sense. And then we're going to add something that's unique to probably some of our viewers today, and that's goji berries. These are one of the most nu nutrient-dense foods on the face of the earth. Goji berries grow in China and in the Himalaya areas, and they're very rich in antioxidants as well. Okay. So they're, they're like the new superfood that everyone's talking about oh, yeah, today. Goji so berries. put those in, though. You get those at the health oh, food right. store. Okay. Okay, and I think what we're going to do to sweeten this, we don't want to add sugar, and I'm going to add an herbal sweetener called stevia. This is an interesting sweetener. It comes from a green leaf grown in Paraguay, 
and um, it's hundreds of times sweeter than sugar, but there's no calories. So we're going to put just a little bit of that in as a sweetener. It's not an artificial sweetener, it's a natural sweetener. Okay. And I think we'll blend this up before we put the ice in. Let me ask you a question. Yes. If you can't find stevia at a grocery store near you, I don't know if they well, have that at Piggly Wiggly or Vons or just where they have it, what do I use in place of well, that? Well, stevia is an optional ingredient if you want to make it sweeter. All right, all right. So but, but you, you, don't have have to have to, you don't have to add it. All so right. we've added that there to that. Go. Okay, and we're going to... Uh, are oh, you gonna turn the, turn it on there for me? Well, why don't I? Here we go. Okay, on the Vitamix mixer here blender here. And we'll blend that up, and that's gonna blend all the ingredients. We'll add the crushed ice, and the crushed ice will just make it cooler. So to add some uh, flavor in there, let me move some of this in here. That's good. So you want to turn that on again, John? Sure. What have we got? What are the turn into? And we have the anti-aging smoothie here for you. Let's see what you think. There you go. All right. All right, I'll take your word. I'll take your word for it. Do I have to stop or can I keep drinking? Oh, go, go ahead. I feel younger already. Good, you look younger. Yeah, that's good. And if it means I'm going to live longer and healthier and more prosperously, I'm all for it. But that's pretty simple. It is. Very simple. Foods that you can buy at most any supermarket. If it's not at the supermarket, it's at the health food store. And if you don't have a health food store in the town near you, drive to one or move. Um, <laughs> that's not bad. Good. And the idea of this is this is going to promote uh, healthier cells that will retain intracellular water. Yes. And you'll do better. That's right. It's not bad. Now, let me ask you another question. Can I ask you about other smoothies that are pretty popular today? Sure. How about the idea of uh, juicing kale and celery and carrots and that stuff? Those are anti-aging smoothies too. Because, they are. Yes, because you're getting the benefits of those plant foods. Those green foods are very important. Most people don't get enough greens in their diet and it has those antioxidants and the lutein and these other phytochemicals because most people don't eat green, a lot of greens. Hmm. So it's a great way of getting vegetables into the diet in these in these types of smoothies. Is there anything that you don't want to be putting into them? Are there any foods that you should just stay away from as pro-aging? If you're adding ice cream to it and, and some of these rich dairy products and so forth, a lot, a lot of people do that, or they'll add a ton of sugar in it, that, that really takes away from the health benefits. Okay. And why is chocolate cake not an anti-aging food? Serious question. Chocolate cake, of course, is loaded with sugar fat, and uh, it's just uh, eggs and all types of things that they put into chocolate cake that uh, is going to promote aging. And actually, these, those ingredients will damage the cell walls. So that's the thing. We want to get away from these foods that promote the damage to our cells and, and eat foods that build healthy cells, which build healthy bodies. Now, how about when people go out to eat? What should they be looking out for? First of all, eating out, there's a lot of things that you don't know you're getting in your diet because they add a lot of additives and they're cooking sometimes. Um, you want to stay away from foods that are very rich in cholesterol and saturated fat, lots of cheese, lots of deep fat fried foods and so forth. Uh, but you can go out to eat and eat healthy too. You can eat anti-aging, going for the salads, going for the veg vegetables, lean proteins. Uh, that's a better way to go. I read with one of the, where one of the top chefs in New York City said very openly that one of the great inside secrets is to make the food taste better, just add salt and fat. Well, there's a whole book written about that, uh, fat, salt, and sugar. And those are the things that are addictive substances to our, to wanting to eat more of those types of foods. So, uh, we, we need to learn how to eat closer to God's original plan, eating those natural foods, those natural flavors that He's put in all these foods right here. Dr. Westerdahl, thank you. Thank you.
Thanks for joining us today. It's been wonderful having you here on It Is Written. Great to be here. When God created humanity, He intended for us to enjoy perfect health and live forever. But sin entered the world and we began to age. Today's free offer, Anti-Aging Secrets of the Bible, will show you how you can live healthier and longer in this world and be ready for the eternal life ahead. To get today's free offer, call 800-253-3000 or visit us online at iiwoffer.com. Thank you for remembering that It Is Written exists because of the kindness of people just like you. To support this international life-changing ministry, please call us now at 800-253-3000. You can send your tax-deductible gift to the address on your screen, or you can visit us online at itiswritten.com. Thank you for your prayers and for your financial support. Our number again is 800-253-3000, or you can visit us online at itiswritten.com. Dr. Westerdahl, today we've spoken about anti-aging secrets from the Bible. The greatest anti-aging secret of all, knowing Jesus as your Lord and Savior. Those who know Jesus, when He returns, they go to be with Him forever. And they go to a place where they'll never die, they'll never be sick, and they'll live forever. That's ultimate anti-aging. That is. Well, let's pray that that day comes soon. And we want to pray that you'll enjoy a closeness with Jesus that will assure you of eternal life. Let's pray. Our Father in heaven, we thank you today for the greatest anti-aging secret of all, faith in you through your Son, Jesus Christ. We thank you that your plan is to give us a more abundant life, that your plan is for us to live eternally and to live closely with you. While we are here on this earth, give us grace to maximize the opportunities you give us, to lengthen the time you give us, to make the most of the years that we have so that our lives will reflect your character and bring glory to you. We look forward to the day when Jesus returns and says, well done, thou good and faithful servant. Let that day come soon. Thank you for the hope that we have in you and for the greatest anti-aging secret of all, eternal life. Bless us, we pray. In Jesus' name, amen. I want to thank you for joining me today. I'm looking forward to seeing you again next time. Until then, remember, it is written. Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. <laughs>